Welcome to the Gantech tutorial video for App Design 1. This video is talking about Space Invaders version 3. In version 3, we're actually dealing with sound effects, as you can see here. Here's the class page. Everything is on the class page for you. So here is a link to some sound effects that you need to download for to implement on version 3. You can see they're here. And in this video later on, I'm going to download them and, and walk you through that process. Below, you can see here is the actually step-by-step -step documentation for version 3. So if you open that up, <clears throat> then we can follow along and that's what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial. This video is really to help you um, go through the documentation of how to create version 3. Very bottom of the page, you can see your portfolio page that you need to turn in. Um, the description screen codes or reflecting questions all that let's go ahead and get started get started we're in our space invaders this is actually version 2 version 2 as you notice we have our hero ship we have our enemy ship up here we have our bullet and it shoots up there also in version 2 what we did is we added it was all about ammo updates so we added this image that updates as they shoot bullets the bullets disappear when you actually get to zero, you need to shake your phone and it will reload your bullets for you to shoot at the enemy. So let's go ahead and follow the steps here in our tutorial. So you can see here, you need to go ahead and download all these files. I also tell you that on the class page. So you're going to need to download 10 random sounds. You can do five star wars, five star track, does not matter. Um, then you need to pick one of these guys, either the laser, cyber down, or saber up. That's going to be the sound for when you shoot your missile. And then you need to Star Wars background. So let me go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to choose, let's just say saber up for my... So I want that to be my laser sound when I shoot the missile. So I'm going to download that sound. And I'm just going to put it on my desktop in a new folder called Space Invaders. And that is going to be Saber Up, which is my shoot sound. I'll save that there. Then I need to save the next one, which is the background music. And that's here. If you want to listen to it. So that's going to play during our game. Um, while you're playing the game, you're going to hear that. I'm going to download this as well. I'll put it right back there in my same folder. Then now, I need to pick 10 random things. They can be Star Trek, Star Wars, does not matter. I'm just going to randomly pick 5 and 5. So I'll do this. I got a bad feeling about this. I'll do bad feeling, sure, why not? And I can just go through these. I'll do Chewy from that, so sure, sounds great. Let's get some other ones. If you only knew the power of the dark side. Oh yeah, I like that one. That's three. Um, let's this versus doing that. Let's do. Don't make me destroy you. I like that one as well. Let's see. Let's see what's what for the for the last time. You have failed me for the last time. I kind of like these dark Vader ones. I'm gonna download that one as well. And again, you can pick anything you want. Um, listen to them. There's a bunch of them in here. Let's see what insignificant is. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the Force. I like all the Dark Vader ones, but I don't want to just download all the Dark Vader ones. Let's see R2-D2. I kind of like that one, too. So I gave you a bunch of different... Um, sounds to use in your game um, that we're building in class. 
I did a bunch of Star Wars. I'm going to go to the Star Trek and grab a couple more. So let's see, two best of time. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Message, Spock? None that I'm conscious of. Except, of course, happy birthday. Surely the... That's a little long for me. Is he dead already? Let's check that one out. No! You'll flood the whole compartment to die. Sir, he's dead already. All right, let's... I like that one. Let's grab that one. And how many more do I need? I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I need four more. So I have set seven. Let's find another... Like beam me up. Let's do that. Scotty, beam me up. Sure, why not? So I need two more. Let's see. Let's see what needs you. I need you. Badly. Eh. Let's do. Nobody's perfect. I like nobody's perfect. Now let me find one more Star Trek one. James T. Kirk. Explain. Let's see what this one is. I'll explain what happened. I don't like it. All we know. Let's just check that. That's all we know about it. <clears throat> I'll just pick the next one over I pick is I'm going to see needs to or whatever. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few or the one. There we go. So I've got my 10, 10 random sounds. You can switch those how you want. So let's go back to the tutorial. You can say here download the files you're gonna to need to add a player player background music sound shoot missile and clock random sayings so to do that we're gonna come over here we go into our media part I need to add a player I'm gonna rename it POY BG music for the source I'm gonna loop it player I'm going to also lower the value and my source is going to be the Star Wars background music that I just downloaded so it's desktop we made a folder called Space Invaders and here's my Star Wars background music so there we go there's our background music then I need a sound and we called it SND shoot rocket so I'm going to rename that SMD shoot rocket. And that sound is going to be the sound that I downloaded, which was Saber Up. Remember, you get to choose which one you want. I chose Saber Up, but you could use any one of these. You can use Laser, Saber Down, or Saber Up. It's your choice, but I'm using Saber Up. So there we go. That's my shoot sound. And then now it's saying I need to also add in a clock called clock random sayings. What this clock is going to do every 30 seconds it's going to pick one of the 10 random sayings that sounds that you've downloaded from Star Trek and Star Wars and it's going to say it. So every 30 seconds it's going to randomly say something throughout the game. So that's what we need our clock for. I'm going to come into sensors. I'm going to drag in my clock. I'm going to rename it clock random sayings right oops I've got a quotation at the end remember this is a millisecond so if this is one second we want every 30 seconds we're going to make this 30,000 which is 30 seconds so we have our clock random sayings And I'm going to add one other sound effect. Oops, underneath media. And this is going to be 
SND random scene. So now here we have everything that we need to design and we just simply need to go implement the code. You can see first we're going to do random sayings and what we're going to need is a global variable that's going to basically hold the file names of all the different files that we downloaded. Um, then after that we're going to do our adding our shoot rocket. We'll test it. We'll add our background music which we've already done and implement everything. And you can see it down here. So let's actually let's do the background music and the rocket first because that's the easiest to do. Because our here, our prayer background music, it's already loaded up. It's, it's going to play, but we have to simply code it to play. So we're gonna go into blocks. I'm going to go ahead and collapse all my previous blocks and let's organize these a little bit. I like to keep my event blocks. Remember, event blocks are brown in App Inventor together. I also like to keep my global variables together. And then I like to keep my procedures that we create together. Well, <clears throat> the to get our background music to play when the game starts, we really want to deal with screen screen one initialize so when the screen opens up there's an event called initialize so I'm gonna click on screen one here it is here I'm gonna pull out my initialize block I'm gonna put a comment in here so you can know when the screen opens play the background music that's just for you so we'll know what it is and you can always comment your code it's always a good thing no matter what coding language you're Java Swift Python it's great to comment your code so when you come back to it you'll know what you do so inside of here we simply want to play the background music I'm going to go to player BG music and you can see we're going to call the simple block called start so that's as easy as it is to add background music into our Space Invaders game. We actually put the source here, so the background music is going to play Star Wars sound. We updated 25 here, pull it in the foreground. We're looping it, so it's going to play forever. But to get it to play, we're simply here. It's going to play our background music. That's all we need to add inside of there. To get our laser to shoot, so we have SND shoot rocket. I'm using Saber Up, right? So anytime we touch our hero ship, it shoots the rocket. Well, we want to actually add a sound effect to that. And you can see inside of here, expand. We have, when we touch it, we have load bullet, we have shoot bullet, we update our ammunition, and then we, well, we have to find, actually, I don't have all my stuff, we want to update when they shoot the bullet we want to play that sound as well so I'm going to collapse this and I have to find my other blocks let's zoom out there they are put these together and then let's zoom back in so whenever I shoot my bullet we have this procedure here we give it a heading, a speed, and we make sure that it's visible. What we simply want to add is this. And I'll collapse these because you know this is from previous days. So I'm going to get confused. And I'm going to go to SND, shoot rocket, and I'm simply going to call play. And since this is a new addition to our Day three, I'm going to add my comment in here as well. So this is what I've added. 
All right, so that's easy enough to do those two sounds. The last one is a little bit more, it involves a little bit more, and that is our random sayings. So we downloaded 10 different sound files, but we're gonna have to upload them into our media. So let me go ahead and do that first. So you can see I have two dead already, upload that. Upload my other ones to needs of many that came from Star Trek. Let's keep uploading. The one downfall to download to uploading files is in Alphabeta currently is you only can upload one. There's no select all type of situation. So I do my bad feeling. Upload that. Beam me up. So this does take a little while to do. All right, Chewy. Dark side. Destroy you. For the last time. Nobody's perfect. RTD2 and that's all. All right, so to do this, what we need is a global variable. I'm gonna zoom out called random sayings. It's going to be a list of all the names of those sound files. So I'm gonna pull in, make a list. I need 10 of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Then for text, I'm going to just going to copy these in. All right, so inside of here, these need to hold the exact file name of the files we want to play. So to dead underscore already it has to be exact if you if it's not exact during the gameplay it'll say unable to play foul whatever so this is the one part that could be tricky make sure you type it in correctly if you don't think you're typing it incorrectly it's probably easier to simply go to that file and then copy it like this so you can copy it directly in. I'm gonna go back to my file on my desktop. I'm gonna copy all these in. That way I know they're the exact. Because if you look at this, two needs of the mini dot wave, if you look over here, it just says two needs o o o dot dot dot. You might think this is the file name, but it's actually not. It's just saying it's too long. So they shortened it. So that's why you want to make sure you copy. It directly and you can use your the actual files from your computer to do that so you can see I'm doing that there let's get rid of this bottom I downloaded that so we've got a couple more beam me up and I'm on my Mac but you would do the exact same thing on your Windows go to your file manager Explorer and Simply copy the file name. If it does not have the dot wave um, on Windows, you need to actually add that dot wave. You can't just type Chewy. Because it also, when you play it and you test your game, it will not work. It'll say unable to play file Chewy. Because it doesn't know what Chewy is, but it does know what Chewy dot wave is. A couple more. And 
the last one, R2D2. All right, so we have that, and this is going back to our instruction. So you can see we did that. We set up the <clears throat> we set up the previous stuff. This is for the random sayings. You can see I, I just did this. I uploaded all ten random sound effects to your App Inventor. We added our clock earlier. We called it <clears throat> clock random sayings. Um, it's also telling us to rename our clock enemy move, but if you look at it, oh, we already did that on day one. So this, in the previous years, I did that on day three. I actually moved it ahead to day two. So now the properties you can see here, we did this as well. 30,000 because one is, so 30,000 is equal to 30 seconds. We just did this. Those tend to random sayings that will play throughout gameplay. Now we simply have to implement our clock. For every 30 seconds, play a random sound. So let's go ahead and finish this out. Clock random sayings right here. I'm going to pull out this timer. I'm going to add my comment in for you. Every 30 seconds, play a random sound effect saying. So inside of here, what do we really have to do? <clears throat> well, we have this S and D random sayings. We really want to set the source to pick one of these files. And then after we set the source, we're going to simply play the file, but we want to randomly pick one of these. So that's why we actually created a list. So let's go ahead and implement it. You can see S and D random sayings first thing I need to do is set the source. What am I going to be playing, basically? Move these over. And I want to randomly pick from this list. Well, that's the reason we set it up as a list and we had to type these in directly. I can go back to list. We've used this before previously in the class, early in the school year. Right here it has pick a random item from a list. So I'm going to connect that inside of there. And then the list I'm picking from is random sayings. So that is going to randomly pick one of these sound file names. And it's going to put it inside of the player. Next part of it is simply to play the file. So I'm going to go to my sound SND random sayings. I'm going to go ahead and push start. And now it's going to play it. So if you come back here, just following along, you can see I did not give you the completed code, set the source to something random. That's what you need to figure out. Do that, do that. I told you to do it on your own, but I'm helping you in this video to fully get version three up and running um, on your own. That's all the code that you need to complete version three, which is implementing sound effects into our Space Invaders game. Definitely test it on your app. You should not just believe it because you just watched me through it. Go ahead and go to build. We're going to do your first QR code. Remember, this QR code is only good for two hours because MIT is hosting it for you. And once it actually builds through your game, go ahead and install it on your phone or the class tablet and make sure that you test your game. You should have sound effects now added into your game. This has been the video on building Space Invaders version 3. Next class, you will start on version 4. So this is completing. I'm allowed to complete so you can see the QR code. I'll leave the QR code up on the video. You actually can scan the QR code from this video and test um, that the game is working. So Here's my QR code. I can scan it on an Android phone. Remember, this only works on Android. And then test your game. You should have sound effects in your game. Complete your app, and then remember when you're done, we've done everything here, you still have your portfolio page. You have to build out your portfolio page that should look like this. You can see it's going to be called Space Invaders Version 3 Sound Effects. You need your description, your screen, you need the code, you need to explain the codes, what they actually do. Then you have your reflection questions. I'm
Yeah.